I couldn't wait to get to this next story that I'm ready to talk about right now because I saw it in the news last week and obviously it's apropos that I comment about it. It's a story that can't be good news for NBA fans. No way in hell. My man, my brother, the one and only Charles Barkley announced that he will retire at the end of next NBA season, after the next NBA season. Barkley joined NBA TV after the Mavericks game four win on Friday and he had this to say. I have made the decision myself, no matter what happens, last, next year is gonna be my last year on television. And I just wanna say thank you to my NBA family. You guys have been great to me. My heart is full with joy and, and gratitude. Now, Barkley has been one of the faces of inside the NBA for 25 years, but it appears that TNT is going to lose NBA rights following next season with some combination or to some combination of Amazon, NBC, obviously ESPN and Disney, of course, ABC to be exact. Here's one thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not in any way calling Charles Barkley a liar. I think that Charles Barkley is very sincere. I just don't think it's going to happen. I don't think Charles Barkley's leaving. Let me tell you what I think is going on, and it's just a thought. I have not spoken to him. I have not asked him about it. Charles Barkley loves those people over at TNT. I'm not talking about just Ernie Johnson, Shaq, and Kenny Smith. I'm talking about all the people behind the scenes. And what Charles has publicly lamented was how Warner Brothers Discovery has handled the whole NBA situation and how he feels like TNT employees are being thrown out to pasture and it sickens him. So he doesn't just want to go away and go somewhere else while 150 to 200 plus people find themselves looking for a new job because they're, they're out of a job courtesy of this move. And that is the Charles Barkley you're hearing right now. A Charles Barkley that loves the people he works with that loves a lot of the bosses he worked for, that loves some of the colleagues he worked with on the air, behind the scenes, of course. It's a family over there to him. And he can't imagine wanting to be somewhere else, working with or for somebody else, while those people are looking for a job. Those say, the same Barkley that said, I've had my time and I'm about to give it up. Let those same people be out of a job. And somebody tells Charles Barkley, you know what? Your production company could produce your own NBA show and everybody will flock to you and he could keep those people employed. I'm willing to bet my check Charles Barkley would do it just for them. Because no matter the fact that he's the round man of rebound, he's the mouth that roars, he'll tell it like it is, and, or, or how he thinks it should be, et cetera, et cetera. The brother's got a heart of gold. He's got a heart of gold. He's one of the best human beings you'll ever see in your life. And those people are people he cares a great deal about. And it's because he cares so much about them. I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying, don't believe he's going for good. Don't believe it. I don't believe it for one second. His voice is too powerful, it's too influential, it's too enjoyable. And he loves the game of basketball too much. He ain't 80. He still got a lot of life left in him. So I don't think for one second this is going to be the end. I just think he's pissed off at the way colleagues at TNT are being thrown out to pasture in his eyes. And he'd rather walk away than work for somebody else while they find themselves looking for a job because he feels that sick about it. That's Charles Barkley. If you know him, that's what you know about Charles Barkley. That's who he is. That's who he is. So what I would say to you is stay tuned. Anything's possible. The other thing is, one thing I will get on Charles Barkley about, you know, he talked about Jamal Crawford, Vince Carter, and others passing the baton to them. Let me say this to you. You ain't going to find too many people on the planet that love, Ch that love Jamal Crawford more than me. I love the brother. My nickname for him was Ann One. He could boogie on anybody. The brother was spectacular. 
especially one-on-one -on -one basketball. The brother was spectacular. Love Jamal Crawford, J.C. Special. And Vince Carter is a Hall of Famer and the best in-game dunker I think I've ever seen. They're damn good at being basketball analysts. And I hope their future is bright. But when Charles Barkley says he's going to pass the baton, Charles Barkley ain't making that call. I can assure you that. Charles Barkley is not going to decide who his successor is in that particular seat that he sits in. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They're good. Hell, they're very good. But I'm telling you, it don't go down like that. Take it from your boy, Stephen A. I'm telling you what I know.